It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. A dazzling facility located here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So glad you all could join us for this game. Kate Scott and Ron Hewitt on the call for it. And we're expecting quite a bit of offensive gamesmanship. decade it started in this league and Kirk Cousins put up some terrific numbers. The thing that's eluded him despite all the stats are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Throwing on their first play. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He's got it, in the one. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. So not a holding call. One of the linemen actually too far downfield that time. That's what drew the flag. Carry for Robinson. And he drives ahead for good yardage up to the 45. He picks up eight on the run, and now they're going to have third and four. To the air, Cousins. He'll get this complete to pass. covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. If Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it a hundred times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little lot route like that, but you stay on top of the deep threat. Short pass cut by his tight end. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. Looking to throw, Cousins.
working inside the red zone. Life is it, and it's caught. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's Robinson up the middle. He's got a nice game down inside the 10-yard line. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. You know, Kate, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. Looking to throw on third and one. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. Fourth down, they're going to throw it! And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Oh, so close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. And now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. Throwing from the gun. And he makes the catch on the right sideline, but no! Oh, they call it out of bounds. The throw led him just a little bit too much. Well, he had the space from the defender and the concentration to make a great catch. What he didn't have was enough end zone real estate. That's just a very, very exciting incompletion. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Hey, don't get me wrong, Kate. Every defensive guy, they watch tape in their own ways. But linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. From the gun on third down. Exactly what you're looking for in the opening drive of the game. And these opening drives are tone setters. You come out flat, maybe you go three and out. Sometimes there's a carryover effect, Kate. But here, they were sharp, they were crisp, and they grabbed the early lead. Young Hoi Ku on for the point after. quickly up the career leaderboards of Russell Wilson. Kate, Russell Wilson is one of the NFL's most experienced quarterbacks. He's also one of the winningest quarterbacks. And even with a couple bumps in the road in Denver, remember, over that decade in Seattle with Pete Carroll and the Legion of Boom, it wasn't a quarterback that won more games in the history of the league over the first 10 years. Nine times to the Pro Bowl as well. But a supporting cast around him, give him a run game in the defense, 
Mr. Wilson still knows very well in this game. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. First down play, and that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. You know, some positive yardage there, Kate, but just as important, they're mixing up their play calling. And it could very well be setting up the defense for a big play later. Second down now, seven to go. Now here's Ron. get to the quarterback, guess what you can still do? You can get a pass break up. That's perfect timing to get his hand up and knock that ball away. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Going right side, Robinson with it. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Tight end in motion now. On first down, now run. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 28. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel it in. Third down, one yard to go. Ooh, the hard cap works. So jumped. Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. So after the penalty yardage marked off, here's first and ten. 
situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and he had enough time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. They'll run now on second down. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy that first down. Turn to Mercedes-Benz Stadium after this. Back for our second quarter. It's Falcons football. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. From the 24. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he gets this forward to the 19. A five-yard gain on the play. We'll have a first. Option give here. Sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Cool on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25, after the return. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense for their second drive of the game. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Throwing his cousins. Got a man, it's London. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept at breaking up those passes. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to throw. Cousins. We had a throw on, but a great defensive play to Jara Luce. Incomplete. Exactly where the sideline was to get both feet down. 
They are throwing it again. Got him in over the middle. Complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 19. Successful, and they have third down here. Throwing now off play action. And the Steelers get home. They drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back them up and bring up fourth down. Did this defense ever need that or what? Just a step in some kind of right direction. Hopefully, now they can build on that sack and claw their way back from this pretty slow start. So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Hui Ku after the field goal. This one from 42 yards out. And that one is good. sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. Now head up first and ten from the 42. Harris once more. Again he hits the second level. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. I had the first down by a comfortable margin like I remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. First and 10 from the 41. Back to the well again. And he'll get it down for a solid gain to about the 37. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. Two and third down is 
get us in a close game or already out of hands. The coach wants to see them convert those. The Steelers set to punt it. We offer deep for the Falcons. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So no return on that punt. And the Falcons will have plenty of work to do on their next drive. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw. Cousins. Looking for a target. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Could make that connection. And that'll bring up second down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. Back now, pressure on its way. So pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. for them to figure out now. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That's a pretty good first. And he'll be taken down after a busy list of the 37. That chunk with a nice 21 yards. And the Falcons will have a first. Reset ball at the 37. Throwing it again here. spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 41. He'll get this complete to Rudy. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. spend the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Ball at the 33 for first down. Cousins. Now it's 
Kirk's Cousins. Such a huge point of emphasis for so many defenses clogging up the middle of the field. They saw that receiver enter the middle and did a terrific job of baiting the quarterback into the throw and an even better job of forcing the interception. The Steelers getting to take the field one more time here in the half. And with field position and the clock against them, probably not going to see anything of substance here before halftime. Only 17 seconds left for them as they begin this drive. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. That's the end of two in Atlanta. The Falcons really spreading their wings. They're out in front so far. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Reports with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. It was a strong first half for the veteran quarterback, Kirk Cousins. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. The Falcons kickoff team out there as they'll send this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. We'll see the Steeler offense first this half as they're headed out now. And that first half, they just couldn't keep up the pace. But they're going to be the ones set the pace here to begin this third quarter. When you get a tight end running the corner route, is he's got to set his angle, Kate. Wide receivers are so nifty, so smooth. Speed's really the priority for tight ends. It's really setting that angle, so creating that leverage so that QB knows exactly where he's going. That's a job well done right there. Austin's there, on it in. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Back 
second and six coming up here. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. Try and punch it in. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. Najee Harris, the touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the grab game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that can score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Chris Boswell for the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Trim just a bit, down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And they'll be happy about where they're about to take the field. He's up to the 35 on the return. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Put together quite the game for himself in the process. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Here's Cousins now. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now it's second down. Here's Cousins. Hits his man on the out route. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. And the Steelers go in nickel. Third down. The tight end going in motion right. Here's the give on third and short. And he's going to go down right on the field strike. That one gains seven. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Uh, you know, Kate, these are not the plays that are like bold in the stat sheet when you look back on it. But these are the kind of gains by the running back that keep the offense on schedule and move the chains. They go play action on first. You know what I like about this shot down the field, Kate? It keeps a defense honest. They know defensively, if we overcommit, we can get burned deep. Second and ten now. You know, I'm really not 
sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Throwing from the gun here. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Robinson on the inside give. He moves his forward in the 31 before they bring him down. A strong nine-yard effort there, Brock, and it brings up third and one. Picks up here, first and ten. Throwing his cousins. A lot of speed on it, too tough to handle, incomplete. going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. They'll throw on third and long. Three touchdown catches in one game is rare air, Brock. Safe to say most guys who retire can name every time they did that here in the NFL. Yeah, I hope he remembers it, but also remember this. Receivers, they're a dependent position. Mm -hmm. They're dependent on the guys doing their job up front. They're dependent on the quarterback putting on the spot. And usually, when you reach a milestone like this, you'd love to share it with everybody else. And my guess, especially if they could find a way to win this one, is this receiver will celebrate it with all of his guys. break for them as they get a gift with whopping the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. kickoff team out there as they'll send this away. Good 
two defense tackles in this league, Kate. They can take up a couple blockers. Great defensive tackles. Well, they step the stat sheet just like that, knocking that run backwards. Look at get started. Offense to the line for second down. It's a game of three after the loss, but still third and eight to work with. To throw, here's Wilson. He's going to push one deep down the line. for that before being taken down. Yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. trust on that play Brock and he proved worthy of it with that end result yeah good old receiver someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB and on that throw there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater Boswell to add the PAT now on the scoreboard. Just a bit, down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. It appears all that prep work and studying that you quarterbacks love to do in the build-up to the game, Brock, it has certainly paid off. This guy has picked apart this defense much of the contest. This is one of those games you appreciate. There's going to be peaks, there's going to be valleys, there's going to be mountaintops. Just like pitchers don't have all their stuff every time out, well, when you do and you're electric, it's sure fun to play. They're out and set, first and ten. To the air, Cousins. It's into the hands of Mooney. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. It's second and five. From the 34. He goes back to him yet again. 
incomplete. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. First and ten. Shotgun snap again to Robinson. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Running it after the penalty. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stuffed right at the line. Stuck at the line, and now it'll be second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years I've heard running backs say there's just times you gotta run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Here we go, second and very long. Kicks brings it in. He'll be out of bounds at his own 45. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's the Falcons with the football. They're leading, but not by a ton. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Cousins. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. That one intended for Drake London. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? We chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one in the books is a 48-yard punt. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. trust because QBs want to throw it before he breaks that's the trust and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field hands it to the receiver here in motion to get this sweep and cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field three yards on the first down play and that brings up second and seven well, that's a tough one because you can see the beginnings of what looked like an explosive play. But let's give some credit here, Kate, to the defense. A great job to follow him up before it came to fruition. Here's second and seven. We'll get this to Jefferson. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You can go to a Little League field and tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. You need someone you can depend on to create space and make catches out of it. On first down, 
and he's brought down for the off. On these first and ten calls, defenses are always keyed in with a run not be coming their way. And as soon as the QB turned to give the ball, the entire defense came crashing in to bury them for a loss. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's Wilson. It's caught. And he's got him down to the 30 before going out. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield. Especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. Well, this is going to be a fun shot of the offense here. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Throwing is Wilson. That's caught by first. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. Just lost his focus and jumped. It's not a huge penalty, but it is a costly one because it gives him enough for a first down. So now, following the penalty, it's first and goal. They'll run here, following the penalty. And they beat him to the edge. That one stopped back at the line. He couldn't get anything there, and now it's second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. They can tack on one more now, bring things back to within a field goal. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just beyond their own 20. 
And if some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense. More good numbers well into this second half. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Cousins. That's brought in by Moody. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 27. will have a first. Flag is down here. This might be a free play. Short pass caught by his tight end. So after some careful consideration, they're going to go ahead and decline the penalty. They're set up at the 35 now. Now it's Cousins. We'll get this complete to Pitts. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And they get this down to the 12 yard line before being stopped. Following that completion, remember the O line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. First and ten. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. to throw. Cousins. And no one had a shot at that. It's out of the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Looking to throw, Cousins. Pressure's there, and the steel cut closes on him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one.
So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Hui Ku after the field goal. Already has one in this game, this from 30. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. So after that big field goal, what cost him the lead, but a touchdown still ties it? Turn starts at the nine. He's got a lane up past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now the offense getting set to go for the Steelers. They really have the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. a good pick up. They've got second and four. To throw. Yeah, for a great defensive play. Just lose. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they need to get four on third down. I'll 
break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here he is to throw. celebrating the touchdown, but not so fast. Catch look good. Got to get both feet down as well. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. He gets it hit and right. And he's kicked on the line for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short when you're feeling good about yourself. With a negative play, well, now it comes a critical third down. So now, here's third and goal. Throwing now. Escapes the pocket. And they will score a touchdown, Pittsburgh! The Steelers tie it inside the final minute. Russell Wilson with the touchdown. His third total score in this game. So it was touchdown or bust here on this drive, Brock. A field goal wouldn't have done it, but they get the score they needed, and now a critical extra point forthcoming. And now what I love, the pressure shifts to the other sideline. They do have some time left on the clock, and remember, all they're going to need is a field goal to go out and steal this one in the end. Now the kick team out to steal away the lead with a point after. One right down the middle, and they'll take the lead. Turn coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw it. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. That one intended for Drake London. So second down coming up. Here he is to throw. And all around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Back to throw. Complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Awareness. Kate, you hear me and so many others talk about it a lot with quarterbacks, but it's critical for every unit on a, on a football field. And for the defense right there, to have an awareness of knowing where the marker was and to make sure that completion wasn't going to move the chains. Here he goes. Got it. Don't get a desperately needed first down. They're going to still trail after they turn it over on downs. You know, these fourth down plays are all about trust. You lean into what you do best. Unfortunately, with the lack of execution, you're going to throw that one off the playlist. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. 
The Falcons spend the first of their three timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Second and six coming up here. And they'll kneel it down. So the Steelers come in and take this on the road. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.